This is the Afro Perspective Podcast, the home of over opinionated young voices. So, today we're looking at the black family structure, um, some of the issues that we face in the, in the well, potentially in the UK, but obviously with black people in general um, single parents versus double parents. Um, male attitudes and female attitudes etc etc so we're going to jump straight in right now and we're going to look at the male attitude towards reproduction because i think that we should probably cover that off um why have we narrowed it down to the male attitude towards reproduction because we're going to get into the female attitude later that's on. later on. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> did you read it so so because um, hmm. we, we, obviously we're looking at the family structure um, as a whole yeah. as a whole and Generally, the idea is I don't think anybody goes out there initially to have a single parent family. No, um, well, so, no. Well, most mm. people. Um, so we're looking at issues of how they potentially are broken down and accountability and mm-hmm. risks and et cetera, et cetera. Um, but in order to discuss all of that, we've got to look at people's attitudes towards yep. relationships. Yep. Yep. And towards sex and, and towards repro- reproduction. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Um, so I think looking from a male perspective, um, I've been watching a lot of uh, videos, etc., and I've I've noticed that there seems to be um, an attitude that reproduction almost isn't there as important as men. Yeah, as as like getting married and as buying a house and you know all of those mm. things that you would yeah. consider to be staples. Step in step, so if you, yeah. for, I, and I'll give you a prime example. So we'd have these conversations probably university upwards so something between the age of 18 and 20 something mm-hmm. and you'll hear people say oh yeah 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 we'll probably have a couple of kids and, and then we we'll, may get married and yeah may. so it's always and it's, first, it's yeah. always yeah <laughs> in 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 the culture mm. that i am aware of that is mm-hmm. it always seems to be when you think when i'm thinking about it in my face now looking backwards it's that's more blase absolutely, no but we'll get it's, it's backwards it's backwards yeah so why would you put children before Marriage getting married and house and households and all of those things those those things that potentially not always but generally at least stop. indicate mm. stability yeah okay um we have to um look at how if we look at our parents generation there used to be a uh, rule okay uh, a rule that we all know go okay what, what's and this rule? it eventually diminished um as we got mm. older it mm. was no sex yeah, before yeah. marriage okay. mm. there was a time when if you said no sex before marriage it was something that didn't sound so um that's the norm yeah it, it was a norm mm-hmm. and then eventually it became something that we just kind of looked at as Don't really yeah, <laughs> yeah but in, in our generation no sex before marriage has never really been a thing though yeah sex no sex before marriage has never really been a thing and that's because it's a symptom of the previous generation it's, no it's a symptom of how our generation um, became hypersexualized. yeah because of the fact yeah so carry on. The, the idea of no sex before marriage is almost crazy like what do you mean no sex before marriage try before you buy and, it's, it's, <laughs> and <laughs> you know what yeah try before you try buy. before you yeah. buy etc so what so I I that so you don't buy a <laughs> refund <laughs> And that's, and, and that's because we were basing our um, life decisions on sex. Try yes, before you yes. Buy. yeah. Because Which you, you wouldn't do. try um, in in my culture. You know, before you marry a girl, she lives with your family. So mm-hmm. that's how you, you try. That's how you try. Yeah, yeah exactly. More seeing the, her values, etc. We idea. we don't care about that. It's more like okay, then how good is the sex? And then after that, <laughs> we start to get to know each other, and then <laughs> things. Diminish. It sounds so um, bad when you say well, it's it's that. That's a so fact. Cool. And, okay, and, awesome. and and another thing is when we speak about the attitudes from mm-hmm. a parenting perspective, parents actually accepted that children were gonna have sex, so they almost prepared their children for sex. So yeah, they had the sex talk, knowing yeah. full well that that's an indication but of because uh, in, in, in that other that cultures, yeah. do, you don't have that conversation because you don't expect to be out there having sex. But then that's a general. general and when you have a boyfriend, though. when you have a boyfriend and you have a girlfriend, you introduce him to your family, and they have to. See, I think that that sometimes is potentially missing. I think that yeah, it's missing. Uh, the, the the thing is, we conveniently choose, uh, we conveniently pick and choose when we want to uphold um, certain 
old school yeah, standards. standards and values. <laughs> but not that one. <laughs> so yeah, so when it comes to no sex before marriage, etc., we don't care about our old school values. Ah, oh, yeah, 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 that's outdated, mm. right? But when it comes to certain chivalry, etc., we're still expected to open <laughs> doors. We're still expected to do whatever. And then we when can choose, yeah. and then when children are there. The man is expected to live to, according to those uh, old school old values. School tradition, okay, even okay. So let's talk, we're talking about the man and his attitude towards mm-hmm. reproduction. So do you not feel that potentially in the society that I am aware of, in mm-hmm. the group that I am aware of, that you having multiple children with multiple baby mothers is almost it's kind of like the it's almost, it's almost a badge of honor yeah. in society to to be that way. It kind of it's kind of yeah. I think they call it that breeder mentality. Yeah, yeah. I was gonna say that. Yeah. Um. D- d- there is that mentality, you know. Fam, the barbershop talk. I was in the barbershop the other day. So we come gonna back gonna to this. Yeah, we have to do it because in the barbershop is a man number talking, and one mm. guy's like, "Yo, mommy, I have seven kids. You not reach nowhere yet." So yes, yeah. yeah. so it's like, yeah, which is a four very, people, but you not reach nowhere yet. You know, you know them kind of talks there. So it's like, yeah. but is that but basically a positive the attitude? Men to have? don't take the accountability for reproduction. Basically, they just say it's that's what they want to do. They go out there to breed instead of to make relationships to form stable children. They just want the the, the problem is when in our generation anyway. It's because breeding. The, the, uh, I mean, just the just just the it's language alone right. that we use is I like. I never use that word, by the way. Yeah, <laughs> so it's almost like it's just breeding is just something. Do, do, do well, you know what I mean, I it, think it, it's not I think for me, before but, back in. The, I mean, in my culture, if you get a girl pregnant, she's your wife. Uh, she's gonna have to be your wife. Yeah, yeah. I, I actually one hundred percent agree with that. Mm-hmm. I one hundred percent agree with that. Generally, so, in the yeah. African culture, yeah. if you get a girl pregnant, yeah. you are going to have to marry. That, her. that will at least make you think a little mm. bit deeper. No, it will. No, if no, you no, think I, that I, I this, agree, this, agree. Point, this girl could get pregnant and you're gonna have to marry this girl you gonna be a bit more careful like it's, it's you it, it's the same like because i'm from older generation okay parents mm-hmm. and that has happened therefore yeah so do, do you know what yeah family. do you know what when i think about it even in the caribbean community which i know a lot of caribbean people when you when they talk about their parents generation and everything it used to be the same like if you got a pregnant the generation you get married changed on my parents generation literally it's a generation away before when everything changed up same as in america same as in the uk the value of the, the, yeah. the value of marriage <laughs> changed the value everything. and attitude after towards the, after marriage after the 60s and that after the 70s in the 70s and 80s that's when things really changed crazy so the value and attitude towards marriage diminished yeah. so my parents are 20 years older than your parents yes so, so that's why so that's why you that's are that's why i'm yes. i'm from a different yeah mentality and background and, and that yeah. makes sense so I mean generally um, I mean you've got different types of uh, you've got men that have been raised um, in that sort of environment where they have sort of inherited that breeder mentality yeah. where um, the more children you produce and the more women you impregnate that equates to your masculinity you yeah, that's what, that's kind you're of more what alpha you're more, you're an alpha yeah yeah male it's equated point. to being an alpha well, male which which to a certain degree it is when you look in the jungle I understand we extrapolate is. it as animals it's like if we're looking at it yeah. from yeah. Yeah. but the problem the problem is um, again it goes back to that whole topic about uh, polygamy you know the polygamous man can it, have 20 wives in the westernized world in the westernized world it's impossible to, because to father all of those children to father all, all of those children if you have four or five or and to be six present. Yeah. baby mamas and you are producing children here there and everywhere in the western world all I get is with westernized yep. values it is it's very hard work. to father those children even if you wanted to mm-hmm. so for me that attitude probably in if you if you're going to remain in the westernized world um that you actually needs think. to diminish yeah. because it's not going to lead to positive results for all so some I mean, of those children the are going to feel away yeah. and the man has to take some accountability for that mm-hmm. so i think that from a male perspective we need to realize where we are mm. the statistics show you know, that as a man it's like yeah man i have this girl and this guy but you, you're not in yeah, yeah. zimbabwe or yeah. wherever where you can yeah. have you know yeah. where women could be on the same plot of land where you can then see uh, all of your I children think, you can't do that i think another issue is as well um in our community especially in the black community um 
black men um, tend to have babies at a relatively young, young age. age. Yeah, so I understand that. I yeah. mean, my, I, I, I had I'm my daughter huge. when I was twenty. Was it my my oldest? Yeah, I had it when I was twenty, and I was twenty-two. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Right. In other communities, they don't start having babies. I was watching Doctor um, Francis Christmas, which we will be referring to some of her um, yeah. work, and she made the suggestion that in our, in the black community. Uh, reproduction shouldn't start until you're in your late twenties or into your thirties. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And I can see the argument for that because, because I'm not the same man I was in my yeah, twenties I am now. You're Emotionally, <laughs> yeah, I would feel differently. And yeah. sex means less. So yeah. you, 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 you yeah. haven't got the emotional fortitude yeah. to raise a child and give them the emotional balance you're and there, that you need. mental you're there, balance yeah. that they need when you're eighteen or yeah. sixteen yeah. or yeah. twenty or twenty-one. When I was twenty. I was in a completely different place to where I am now mm -hmm. mentally, yeah. emotionally, as a man. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But I was in a, having a baby was. Yeah. Yeah. I understand this 100%. And having, you have, as a was, male, having a baby before you were ready because you were not ready technically. Mm -hmm. well, because a lot of people are not ready. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As men, because we'll, we'll get onto the ladies later on. Yeah. But as men, when I think about it, Again, yeah, I've grown up so much since I was 22. So mm -hmm. I'm a completely yeah. different guy. And, and the choices would, and the decisions that you're doing. You wouldn't have made those, those decisions, <laughs> yeah, looking back. Yeah. So it's, it's one of those ones where, yeah, I think the, the age doesn't help either. We don't, yeah, it doesn't help. And um, because... But I, I always feel that some of my African counterparts, so obviously I went to university with a lot of um, African guys from Africans, gen, mm -hmm. direct African descent. And I find that I'm probably gonna get shot for saying this. They were a bit more sensible when it came to such things, like yeah, generally. They, they, yeah, I think in my culture, so me telling my mom that oh yeah, I'm gonna have a child, it wasn't deemed as such a big deal. No, I was I wasn't scared to tell my mom that I was gonna have a child. Okay, put it this way: ah. if uh, all right, I'm Zimbabwean. Yeah. If I'm gonna get a Zimbab get with a Zimbabwe girl, yeah. and I get her pregnant, mm -hmm. I'm likely gonna have to marry her. Yeah, I'm likely gonna have to pay. Um, Dowry. Dowry, dowry, yeah. I'm likely gonna have, have to introduce give a, give my a, family. You're gonna have to, gonna have to go through the whole shebang. No, 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 five. five. What was that? No, 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 no. <laughs> exactly, <laughs> right? Hundred. So there's a lot more thought into yeah. the girl that I am going to impregnate. Mm. Uh, I mean, obviously now we have been in. I've been in England for nearly twenty years. Mm. So, so things are starting so, to change, and yeah. we're starting to adopt certain British Culture. or Western. Yeah, yeah values that mm -hmm. are not necessarily Yo. reflective of how we mm -hmm. grew as Zimbabweans but generally in our culture um, if you had a guy that had children to more than one person it's likely a man that got married and divorced, divorced and got married again and, and married again so, yeah. and had children so it's not yeah. so it's likely so it's a little less in messy. my culture yeah, yeah, put yeah, it yeah. this way in my culture it, I mean in Zimbabwe it's Back home, it, it wasn't often that you saw a guy that had five baby moms or six or seven baby moms. No. Yeah. It was just the one or two, yeah. 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 But more so, it was unlikely. It, it, we just did not know. Like in school, I'd say 90% of the people in my class came from a two Double parent two household. Parent, yeah. So, yeah. And the parents were married. Yeah. So are you saying the 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 family culture or the family structure is more important? Again, I think here, it's, it's again. Is it just I culturally think, different? I, I think again, it goes down to attitudes. So okay, again, my I wasn't afraid to tell my mom that I was having children. She had me young. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Right. <laughs> so it's it's I mean, my my parents were young when they had me, so it it was almost carrying yeah. on okay. a similar thing. So it it was it's not alien to me because yeah. that's what I expect mm -hmm, mm -hmm. almost. Um, was it right or wrong? It's cool, but it could have went left and mm -hmm. yeah. didn't. But I guess we we're looking at the attitudes. It's like, well, are those attitudes actually correct for a stable foundation? Because for me, at looking back now, everything for me now is about risk mitigation. Mm -hmm. So if you want to raise children, my ideology personally is that you should attempt to be raising See, them in a very structured yeah. household. Yeah. Um, you should 
at this stage it, it kind of drives me because I want to be as financially stable as possible to, you know to, to mitigate any and you would have risk. never thought of that you when you were 17 like, when yeah. you're like when 21 when I, when who cares I about my financial first child I didn't even have a place to live <laughs> just, <laughs> just just the clothes <laughs> off your back no I don't think I was, I was literally exiting university into the real world and I don't <laughs> think I, I don't it's, think it's, and it's, I, it's I can crazy. speak for many of us in our generation I think some people did plan their kids but mm. a lot of black men don't so, they didn't plan fair. their first child and I think as a man now 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 at this age now to my last child that was planned but is there <laughs> is, is there <laughs> any is there any I mean back in the, I keep referring to yeah you could it's good it's yeah. Different. Yeah, so yeah. in Zimbabwe um, being in school one of the things sex education was a big thing mm. and another thing was family, family planning, planning. We don't really do the what, the, what's that? I don't think there's much That's, focus on family planning. We don't do any family planning. I family think in the UK, is, family planning to them have is Have you just, got a kid? Let's see no, what we can do. Putting girls on the pill. Yeah, yeah. Because, yeah. Which is not really changing not the plan. mindset. Ching, ching, ching. Mm. Yes, I know, yeah. It's not changing the mindset right. of the human. Guys just get told, use a Johnny. Yeah, yeah. No, it's a fact. I know, I know. Yeah, yeah. Which they don't really, they, they don't really get into the so dynamics. So do you think that we need to get into the taboo of the psyche of sex, sex and production from a man perspective because again we're going to get into the latest from young so I think from a man perspective mm. again it goes to the whole what are you going to um, tell your sons as a community we need to be educating our um, boys boys um, on education relation um, I mean relationships reproduction sex etc because they do mm-hmm. not get that education they just go out there and navigate the world and if you Get a girl pregnant, you Navigate get a girl pregnant. With penis. Yeah, with their penis. <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah, and running into and trouble. So yeah. it, it, it's again, it's taboo subjects. But I think it's important in telling children or young boys the importance of relationship and compatibility with a partner, not just yeah getting yeah, and yeah, that's, breeding that's and then calling yeah them like, like, again because I mean, nobody part. really talks it's, it's all like ah you breed that one day you big boy am I you big man no it's because but it's not it, a case it's that, because a lot of relationships are based on sexual compatibility they're not based on mm, economic that's or not the financial only compatibility. or political yeah. political compatibility yeah. Yeah. You're, and again it it goes to the problem that in the general um, in the black community education is not emphasized upon enough so you've got a lot of people that are politically financially incompatible no illiterate illiterate. oh oh, sorry so they can't they're not there (laughs) to think about what they're compatible with okay they don't even so i even have that discussion you find that i mean now we're in the age of information you've got your younger youths that's kind of some of them are wise yeah but most of them and them started thinking about consciousness financial whatever Mm -hmm. stability most of the all right for your average black girl buys a house by the time she's about 25 Mm. your average black man is probably going to buy a house when he's 40, 40, 40 let's say 40 yeah, let's not even go with yeah, yeah. <laughs> do you know what I mean so miles away in comparison it, it's miles away in comparison so there, there, there's that lack of education there's that lack of mentorship mm. that we, yes. we, we need okay. to sort of teach the youth them like yo this is how yeah if you're gonna get gal get gal or whatever but, but not every yourself. girl yeah, yeah, yeah. is yeah. Be- worth because guess what if you get a um, daughter to this girl she's going to be a reflection of her mother yeah. and if you do yeah. not approve of and yeah more, moreover yeah if you don't if you don't approve of her values then you're going to be in some problems you're going to be in problems because she's going to like you so that's, yeah. yeah yeah that's a fact um, so, so moving on so to the next bit no no it's, cause it's still on the same thing so we're okay. talking about male responsibility because in the community that I've seen it's almost like you can have children um, but you don't necessarily need to mind yeah. them 100%, okay. um, which again is another issue. So if you're having children out here and you're having four, five and six mm-hmm. and all the rest of it, but you don't feel like you need to mind them. That's how some of these men have 12, 13, 14. Yeah, yeah. The, the, all they right, feel like they've done their part. Then. No, here's the problem. Um, if you've never seen a male role model providing oh yeah let's get into it yeah, yeah. you're likely not going to feel that you in, in that, yeah there's no example men that were raised by men i grew up i grew up seeing my dad my, my dad's always been there i have grown up with my dad from childhood and he's still with my mom now right mm-hmm. he's always been the sort of, uh, the, 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 the the main man mm-hmm. whatever and from that 
for having children myself, I take pride in providing for my children. Mm-hmm. I would love to be in a position where my children's moms don't even have to work. And mm. I, I would be happy to be that guy that can provide for my children. I believe that is my responsibility and not because it gives me any um, power or anything, but yeah. it's because Dude, that's what I know. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. So um, you've got youths out there that have not seen that so they're not they going to take pride in, it take pride in doing so they something they have their own it's not you know something I mean? they've not got there's, that blueprint. there's enough times where you hear that you, you hear man say yeah my dad used to you know do my dad this, do, do this mm-hmm. yeah so I'm going to do that for my kids that's what so that, that's yeah so wait, basically, whereas at the same have, time it can go two really ways yeah. it can go two ways yeah. you've got man that will say you know what yeah my dad was never there for so me so therefore I'm so going to yeah, yeah. I am going to give 120 percent yeah to yeah. my kids yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. or it goes the other way it goes the other way to say yeah i was all right yeah i was all right my dad wasn't there so yeah, yeah, you can yeah. survive tough, tough tough tease, like. your mom your mom's gonna yeah, assume yeah. the yeah. role that yeah. my mom assumed yeah. as single parent Stop crying, do you think? Yeah. yeah so no, not no. knowing the effect that it's actually have it has oh, on them. It's, not, it's not just a financial thing if you see a boy like any father will know this if you if especially especially boy children so i can't speak for the girls as much but especially boy children they look at dads especially at a young age as I, do, I, I can't do no them. wrong in my house yeah. <laughs> wait till no they wrong get big. no when they get big yeah, yeah, yeah they'll, they'll see the errors of it yeah I'm but not, i'm i am you're superman you're, you're idealized the man, mm-hmm. yeah and i guess if you if you've not seen that and not been but my son uses certain analogies he loves the lion king yeah. right <laughs> And if you ask him, you're Mr. Fuck. He's simple. <laughs> That's how he sees life. Like, you, you That's you how he sees life. Of course. You, you and that is a stuff. perfect. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. That is literally. Yeah, because you look at Simba, looks at his dad. Mm. And exactly. It's that, right. And you can see how Mustafa. Yeah. Sort of shows him the ways, and that's how. Yeah, that's mm, how. That's how he sees. Naturally, that feels like how it's meant to be. That's how it's meant to be, and that's how my son. It's, it's and, almost too easy because they learn from you so, so easily. They, yeah, they yeah, learn yeah. from these things, so yeah. he's already mapped it into his own sort yeah. of. Daddy's Mustafa. Daddy's Mustafa. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I'm Simba. If you said to him you're Mustafa, he'd be like, "No, you're Mustafa. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Simba." Do, yeah, do, yeah. do you understand? Yeah, yeah. So things like that, children subconsciously in their perceptive development know these things and they formulate these things Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and when Simba doesn't get that Mustafa (laughs) he gets Scar Simba's gonna turn into Scar (laughs) (laughs) you don't want that nobody wants nobody wants Uncle Scar I don't think you can say that but I think think there's a higher percentage of him turning into Scar into Scar because when you look at Scar's attitude yes Scar feels hard done it feels like Mustafa should have been yeah 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 do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, that's true. And I think you are hard done by. So if you if you feel like your dad was has it's almost estranged, then mm-hmm. you may potentially feel a way that oh, okay, I feel abandoned. So mm-hmm. right, you know what I mean? So I, I totally get that. This is the Afro Perspective Podcast, the home of over opinionated young voices.